For the last several days, we had a new group of warrior wasps uh, trying to build a nest on our main gate, uh, very near the front door of our home. Uh, yesterday, I went down to try and record them uh, before the firefighters came to get rid of them. And uh, just like uh, when I recorded the other warrior wasp, I was very quiet, very peaceful, no sudden movements. And uh, for the first 10 minutes, no problems whatsoever. Um, however, the last shot that I did, uh, I was recording for about 30 seconds. And um, I had squatted down behind the camera. to uh, I was about to turn it off. And all of a sudden, one of the wasps just made a beeline straight directly at me. Uh, hit me right in the head and stung me about two inches above my right eye. I quickly ran, <laughs> uh, didn't scream, which I was proud of. On this video, if you listen closely, you can hear the wasp actually buzz by the camera and then hear me scrambling as I tried to get away after, after he stung me. Um, it's been an eye-opening experience, or eye-closing experience, you might say, with all the swelling. Uh, the pain for the first hour was very intense, and then it dulled, and after about three hours, I didn't have any more pain. But the swelling has increased. Uh, my right eye, I think, is, has gotten to its maximum size last night, but now my left eye and the bridge of my nose has continued to swell. I've taken Benadryl uh, two doses, one about an hour after it happened, and then one last night before I went to bed. Um, about to take another dose this morning and hopefully get some of the swelling down. Um, it was an interesting experience. I had wondered, you know, after reading about the warrior wasp and their, their powerful sting, it, it had made me curious, but I really didn't want to experience it. But now that I did, it was an experience, something to, uh, to look back on, learn from. Uh, basically, I've learned I'm not going to get too close to warrior wasp nests anymore, uh, especially when they're new and, and look like they're uh, staking out their territory, protecting themselves. Um, it's just not something I'm going to do anymore. Uh, we're just going to let the fire department deal with, with that colony. Uh, it's too close to the house, too close to the road, and people walk up and down that road all the time, so it's just not safe. All right, there's my warrior wasp sting. Got me right in the head. I was being very nice, very tranquil. I didn't think they would mess with me if I just was very quiet, but in one second, one flew right into my head and stung me, and it hurts swelling up pretty good a little bit of blood pretty amazing from such an animal so tiny that is what a warrior wasp will do to you I got stung right up here in this area, but as you can see, the swelling has really moved down where it's really over my eye, and especially right here in the corner of my eye. All right, it's been over two hours since I got stung by the warrior wasp in my forehead, right up in this area. And as you can see, the poison's gone down and really got my eye really swollen all around the eye. Uh, it still hurts, uh, not near as bad as it did. It's gone from a uh, sort of a fire, burning, really painful sensation to more of a dull sort of headache kind of sensation. But you can see it's all the way down into here and my eyebrow really itches and over here really itches. So the poison is, is all in this eye now. Pretty amazing. 
This is about three hours, three and a half hours after I got stung. I got stung right up here, but as you can see, my eye is just completely swollen. And that's what a warrior wasp sting will do to you. All right. <clears throat> This is exactly three and a half hours after being stung by a warrior wasp. I was stung right here, but as you can see, the poison has moved down and I've really got some bad swelling around the eye. You can also see three and a half hours in, I've got significant swelling starting on this side. Uh, I've still got a lot of itching on my eyebrow, and a lot of itching on my nose, and a little bit of itching under here. Uh, but that's about it. The pain is basically gone. I don't have any more pain. Uh, I can feel it sometimes when I blink or, or something, but, but not really any more pain. But the swelling has really surprised me. Uh, it started out very, very painful, and then the swelling has taken over. It has been five hours since I got stung by a warrior wasp. I got stung right up here where that little red dot is right there. But as you can see, the venom made my face swell up. First, my right eye started getting swollen and then my left eye joined in. I have taken two Benadryl and I took two more a few minutes ago. And I wanted to do this video before that Benadryl had a, had a chance to have any effect. Here I am, seven hours after being stung by a warrior wasp. I was stung right up in this area. I was stung right here. And you can see a little bit of swelling there, but not much. But then around the eyes, it really swelled up. All right. <clears throat> It's been 18 hours since I got stung right up here by the warrior wasp. And as you can see, the swelling has not gone down. It's just gotten worse and worse. Uh, my right eye was pretty bad yesterday, but now the left eye has joined it. So, uh, creating a few difficulties seeing, but I have no pain in whatsoever. It has been 24 hours since I was stung by the warrior wasp right up here and as you can see the forehead doesn't have any swelling or anything and the eye swelling has gone down significantly I still got quite a bit but uh, it's much less than it was so 24 hours after that's what it looks like <laughs> 